And welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2 with Wayno. So, I got sidetracked so bad last episode, it wasn't funny. Uh, looks like it does need one of these. So, I got sidetracked by <laughs> making this. So, and I have completed it. And then I have to do this. There we go. I think that's right. It looks like it. Now, it meant to be two blocks above, and it meant to come. Oh, that's right. I need this part on the bottom, don't I? Uh, I wonder if this will actually work. Yep, there we go. So, there's two dawn stone, three dawn stone, four dawn stone. And there we go. We now have Dawnstone. So we have entered the other era. So I still want to make another one of these. Um, well, apparently that isn't a glitch. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but sure. Um, I will look at. Oh, I could have just left it as embers, couldn't I? And then. Look for Dawnstone in the list, which is that one. Uh, it requires. That's not what I'm looking for. Mixing recipe. 4 out of 16, 4 out of 16. I don't actually know what that means. So I could actually make it in the smeltery, it would have been easier than this. But you need this. So I don't really need this. I just go get tanks. And I could just have a tank pump straight into there and there. So I thought that would have been easier. But if I put a beam splitter in here, I only have to do these two. So I can really tell that to go to hell. I might do that. And then just do a 16 and 16 and see what I get out of it. So, uh, we will make two tanks quickly. So... Go. So we need one, two, <laughs> some of them, and one, two. Don't they stack? Nope. Okay, so I can actually chuck all this back in here and make a beam splitter. Uh, let's see, let's see that, that, that. I'll put that in there since I don't need it anymore. Uh, and that. And that. Not that. I want that. Put that away. So, let's get 10 and 10. And then that will give us a heap. Uh, what am I doing there? No. Yeah. Let's go 10 and 3 more copper, which I'll need to go for a run up here. Here. So there we go. And we need to go to a tinkerer's smeltery. And instead of putting it into here, we want to put it elsewhere. <laughs> this is why this is here. Just to catch that tiny little bit. Because for some reason it gets stuck. Then it'll end up in here. And, yeah. But anyway, that will have lots and lots. So um, we can do that, and then we can do that, and then we can add in the ten gold and turn you on. Wait for this, and this will give us quite a bit of Dawnstone. I'm hoping it will give a 1 to 1 ratio, or it may give us a 1 to 2 ratio. Well, 2 bars equals 2, so we'll see. I know that's not much, but let's snag that, and let's do the same to copper. And that's 
done. So we can turn that off. And we'll click this tank. did that, awesome. I'll put this one on this side. And then there should be Dawnstone. Well, actually, yeah. Wait, look at that! Yes, baby! Oh, that's awesome. I apparently put, meant to put a bin under it, but I can just stand here for a few seconds. And let's fill you up. We'll just collect all this. I shouldn't need a heap of it, um, but I'm always wrong. So let's see. Uh, we don't need any of them. Them. We need a beam splitter. Just one. I don't even know what that is. There's some fancy beam cannon. Fwa! Exchange table, alchemy pedestal, some ashen goggles. So I'm guessing that's a set from these. Dawnstone anvil looks pretty cool. Inferno forge. The only one I really need is the reception coil. I don't know what any of these are, so. Alchemy recipe is inflicted gem, so I don't know what any of these are just as yet. So we look like to be out 24, and we put 10 and 10, and we had how many before? Four, I think it was. So we gained like 20. So it is a basically two to well, two to four recipe would be yeah, something like that anyway. So that is awesome and I can just use these tanks to fill up when I need and if I fill them up that would make so much. Now I need a beam splitter between these two. So I'll quickly just make one of them and this will just be just really good. I don't, don't remember what I needed. Uh, beam. Uh, I need the two copper. I did not grab a stack of copper. That's just really bad. Oops, I want that. I'll grab that, and I'll grab that, and I'll grab that. And I actually needed some um, nickel as well, didn't I? Actually, to make invar, which I should grab that in that case. I know I'm going to be crushing all this. So, this will give me more, and I'll keep this for clay. I can do a mechanical user over there setup, just to place it, and break it when needed. So, once again, I should just whack this in here. So, I can actually move all this over one and go back to with my 9x9 nine nine, because I can destroy this and put that in there, that, that uh, keep the lever but yeah I don't know where I got the bronze from, that's a little bit weird the nickel and that can go in there all this Uh, make sure. So, um, looks about right, doesn't it? Um, 
so what we got? Uh, it's uneven, but hey, that's okay. Put the beam splitter there, and we get the hammer, and then we go from here to uh, oh, I see. You need the uh, receiver and then two admitters to split this, I think it is. So put you there, and you there, and you there, and then you go, and then Ember, here you are. So need more gunpowder. <laughs> okay, only a thousand there. So we need more of that. I oh, don't actually need more crystal. We just need that. And we want to break it down to 13s, which I stuffed up again. I click and drag too quick. And there's the 16s, and you go like that. And then quickly shuffle that around, and then we go one off. If we do that, we can make another set like that and go doink, doink, doink. That's our ember shards. 35. See, and that tank that we used, full. It's just awesome setup. I really should rearrange this, shouldn't I? Because this is the wall. I know how it all works, and we can just quickly do this. I am who I say I am. So if we do this, this will be the wall here, like that. Do that there because that gives me tank, tank, and output. Mm, yeah, because you can't have anything underneath it. So, so tank, tank, connector, fluid out, and that. And we'll need a couple more pipings. That's where I made some more. And then across, and then we can go down like that. And then we can have the two tanks here. Oh, and here. See, either way. And then you just put it as output. Okay, so this will. Oh, excuse me. And then all I need to do is. Right click U and left click U and then chuck a couple in there which should cook it up and there's the beam splitter. Um, why isn't it coming? Oh that's right, they need levers on them as well. Everything on this mod needs levers, it's just, I don't know why. It's terrible. <sighs> it's a really really bad idea and if I guess you could, it's for turning on and off. I was just thinking about it. But in the long run, it's... you're not really... yeah. And there it is. Bleem Splitter. So I don't know how much it uses, but I could probably chuck all this in here and then just let it go. 
but this will I know it has an internal capacity but it doesn't actually tell you in one probe yet but this is a now set up I can put a bin underneath it apparently which is uh, here yep there you go quite easy to make and then you can pump it out so I could put it here and then just pump it out to here to into a simple chest or actually I could get a pump straight into that so straight under something like that anyway I like the first idea though so one chest and I wanted a plate and I need a little bit more iron there's the iron and if I wanted to keep the theme uh, item pipe and extractor lead all across and that gives me eight and a, 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 a item extractor so I could do it that way but I need another Carmite plate but I don't really care do you guys care? oh hello Void how are you today? we put that there and then we put you, well we already got some then but we put that back so now that anything that gets made in there will be pumped well we'll be caught in that and I will grab a servo and some them. The only problem is I don't have any servos. I always seem to run out of servos. Um, I do have glass on me and I don't have any iron and I do have redstone so make a servo. It doesn't have to be fancy quick because I'll just drop it and then leave it and then come back and then we go one there, one there and put you on there and always extract and then we have the chest right here and there we go now this is a full setup for Dawnstone I probably could well I probably will automate it later um, with um, actually I wouldn't even know how to s I know how to automate it it's just it's so far away from the smeltery so I probably could just make a heap of Dawnstone and when I need it I could just make yeah you think I made 20 out of that too so if I put a full tank in there yeah that's a lot so 10 so I'll make over a hundred easily 200 so that is a very nice investment so um, I'll just whack that in there with them that's what we really need so now I can actually get into making the thermal expansion stuff which is will make me so happy literally so happy I can make the energy frame now so um, which will not that just quite yet but when I get actually into this but I need basically all the machine frames all these I will be making so I will need a ton of copper gears I think there's like copper gears, there's invar gears so let me think, I need a redstone furnace, I need a pulverizer I don't need a sawmill but that will actually make me uh, saw dust so I'll probably end up having to make that the induction smelter, I definitely need one I don't need one of them I don't know about a compactor I, I don't know. I definitely need a magma, which is some more invar. Um, a fractioning still. Apparently this is where you can make power from it, but I haven't got around to doing it. I need the flower, fluid transporter, energetic fuse we don't need, central uh, centrifuge separator I don't know, glacial we don't need, and index extruder I do. So, and I think I need two igneous extruders. Um, and a uh, aqua, 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 uh, yeah, um, aqueous accumulator. I need one of them, but they are actually with a device frame, which is a little bit harder. So, um, nullifier don't really need thermal mediator. I don't know what actually that is. Well, there you go. Improves operational speed of nearby. That's pretty cool. A orb 
Arboreal Extractor. Well, extracts floors from trees. There you go. And an item allocator star stores and transfers items. But I all re oh, I really just need to get a couple of these. The first one I should make is the actual magma because I need to melt down redstone. So now remember, with nether brick, we can actually convert a nether brick straight to nether from nether rack. So I have some here, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll take two. Crucible. Uh, so I need a Electrum. Didn't I just have some of that? Uh, there. So we need one of them. We probably need quite a few of these, but that's okay. Oh. Hey. Okay, that was weird. We need some Dawnstone. I, I'm going to make five because that's. Yeah, just because I'm going to make five. Uh, that's incorrect. There we go. So there's five of them just in case because we'll, we'll need them. Uh, the machine frame. I should. So I need two steel and two iron. So um, I actually started making some of them and I ran out of coal. So. So that will actually get me some gears. Um, I was making so two steel, so we need not you, two of them, and two steel. So now we can make steel nice and easily, or steel plates quickly. Let me just do this. And I could stand here and just collect them. See? There's no biggie. And... Now we need to make this bad boy. So I need four diamonds here and I need to make another sturdy casing. So, bronze plates. So, uh, five bronze plates. Another two of them. And another bronze. And I don't think I have any casings left. It looks like I'll be making a bunch of casings again. Title of this episode, Casings Again. So we need sticks. I really should guess, uh, get a basic system set up. And now we shall make another stack of these. See, I'm just running around in circles with this. So this should make reinforced. I'll get rid of the fluid pipe, the hammer, because I don't need it. I didn't run. That's okay. So we do that, and then we can just go above. So I should really upgrade this to a. quicker servo so that's actually quite easy to do love this recipe there we go so that should actually withdraw them a lot quicker yep there we go so we can do this and once again it didn't pan out the way that I wanted there's some more reinforced iron, so we can just do this, then this, this, and this. A little bit more. Oh. And then it's one more set of four, and then... Come on, one more. There we go. And there's our seven. Okay, now we need. Uh, I think it's treated sticks for a casing. This will do, it doesn't matter. No, no treated sticks, it's the bronze stuff. Above. 
Okay. You can go away. Um, I will. I won't make any more because I need a heap of bronze stuff. So we'll just do this. Uh, I think that's wrong. Yeah, it's one gear with two of them. There's our casing. Now we need the uh, platinum, the hardened casing. So I need four diamonds. So I'm going to grab a chest out because this is going to be my working on chest. So all this can be put in here, and all I need currently is these. So I need a lot more. So that'll do. I don't know if that's enough, but we need lots of stone. Because we need diamonds. Now I have two diamonds here. If you remember, I used it on here to upgrade my thing to obsidian level, which will affect me in the future, but not massively. So it's okay. Um, I'm going to start smashing these down in big lots, but what we actually need is a rock. Yeah, over here. Uh, the not the compressed one, just the rock crusher. So you need to make all this. So it's not too hard. And you need two of them because you need one for here and the cauldron. And then you actually start automating all of that into washing and cleaning it. But you need something like a 400 tick, I think it was 400 power to a tick, which I'm actually not at. So yeah, it doesn't actually say in here, um, maybe in G, so here we go, Rock Crusher, yeah 400 a tick, so this is what, and this is 400, so we need 800 a tick, between the current power I have now, it's not even close enough, so I need to get the next set of power running, so no matter how look at it, it has to get power upgrade, which I was aiming for anyway because I want to get my Eulorium running. Alright, and for your, uh, uh, well, your big reactor, you needed, well, you need a diamond there for controllers, so I, I'm going to make a 7x7 um, seven seven, which will give us 5. So we'll need the power tap, we'll need two of these, well don't really need two because you can use your in and out but I'll use two, you need a bucket and pistons, but the only problem is, is you can't actually control it, the open computers which is in this pack, which is rather sad um, because you needed the computer port but it doesn't actually work. So I have tested it in a test world quickly and it still does not connect to it which is rather annoying because you can't maintain the system properly, the big reactor system. So it's going to waste Eulorium. So you can use the reactor red net port, I think this is the one, no not this one, uh, reactor redstone flux tap which you can turn it off and on when you can actually get the power up but it's back to the same point is you need a storage 4 million power is not really so then it comes back to actually making this bad boy this will give us basic 2 million to start off with but when you actually do the first upgrade on it you get quite a bit and I had to work my way through oh that's right we needed wax didn't we oh my god and to get red refracted wax you need it from molten comb or shimmering comb so it looks like I'll be doing bees soon I don't even know, and I know you need to do heaps to get to it. Um, I actually might set up a nether portal and see if 
the nether's in. If the nether is in, I can actually get some bees made and working. If not, then I can't, but I need to get this. Um, the res resonating ender up, because there's only one way to get it. Right, as you can see. So, I'm not going to use that one, I'll use this centrifuge. So this is from Thermal Expansion, which will give you your same stuff. It doesn't say how much percentage it is, but it should be. So I'll work out how to get Molten Comb. Say so there's Inferno, so if I can get actually straight into into the nether and get one of these, it'll be awesome. It's a 12% chance, but a Hateful is actually higher. And it actually tells you how to get it, so an Eldridge which I need to go into the end to get, so it's not going to happen. It really is not going to happen. But apparently you can incubate it. So, yeah. Guess we'll be working it out together on how bees is handled because I have no clue. I haven't done these these bees at all in this pack, considering it is um, God. What is it? Uh, well, there's forestry, but these are magic bees, so I've never actually done anything. So I'm hoping it's actually easier to get, and you need a bee attractor. I think it was. So yeah, be a tractor. So you need to get this. I'm hoping that I can just quickly pump one of these out. And oh my god, I needed to make an impregnated casing. But anyway, it is wrapping up point in time. I will take a short break and then record another episode. Um, but the rate that we're going, we need bees and I don't want to do bees. But if we want to continue on, we have to. So I will, um, yeah. Wow, we've got actually some sheep now and everything. That's cool. Anyway, I will see you in next episode. So have fun and later.